So I have an engine on my forklift that uh, I'm about to send out. <clears throat> so about a year ago or, or so, a customer of mine uh, called and said, you know, I bought a car and I need to have the engine rebuilt and I'm going to ship it to you and you guys can go ahead and do the, do the works on it. So we uh, received it along with the transmission in a big, big box and some of it was disassembled and it was uh all there but uh basically left it to us francois and i to rebuild the engine so we sent it out had machine work done to it and put it all back together you know put new pistons and did the whole normal rebuild new pistons had the had the uh, bores checked and and crank resurfaced or 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 ground didn't need a lot uh but uh had everything a line board the usual machine work that that's done on one of these uh 250 engines this is a, a 250 gte engine came out of a 250 gte and um it it all ready to go so the next job was for me to put it in a crate and what's so funny is i keep when i was building this thing i said you know i'm just not a carpenter trying to build a box to put an engine that's safe and secure and not going to go anywhere is uh, is no easy task. It certainly helps to have a forklift at the shop. Uh, this thing um, is, a, is a godsend because uh, it just moving something this heavy and around, uh, you could do it with a, with a, uh, with a cherry picker, but it, it makes it a lot easier once it's in a crate to pick it up with a forklift than try to do it with a, with a, um, with an engine crane because uh, the the cherry picker just can't get underneath it when you're trying to get over it with with a chain. So uh, let me go over some of the engine just because it's here and you can see it. Uh, 250 engine, you know, I, I I packed it up. I put the I took the um, generator off. That normally goes here, but it just hung out too far. Just just I wanted to try to make this box as compact as possible. Um, We've already run it. I'll show videos of it uh, running. We uh, we bench fired it and, and kind of made this Frankenstein setup just so that we could get the uh, exhaust installed and, and uh, run it for a, for a few hours or several hours just to break it in. Um, and some of these pipes in here are, are kind of a little old and brazed together just to, so it was leak free because you know he has he has the correct ones. The owner has them and and said that he's going to do the rest of it. Some of the pipes we needed just to get this particular uh, engine running like for instance the rear water pipe on this has kind of been jb welded and and uh you know patched and whatever just to hold water so that we can run it um <clears throat> i think the owner has a um has the correct one and, and it's and it's nickel plated as as the original one but uh he has it so so we went ahead and just used this one just to get you know to fill it up with water and run it other than that, you know, we've, we've correctly wired it all. We got all the wiring harnesses or the spark plug wires all nice and new. These he sent to us powder coated. So uh, he did them, did, did these, and then we just uh, put them on there. Um, and uh, carburetors are also redone. And so he sent them to us all rebuilt and ready to go. And, and when, we, when we fired up the engine, it, they, uh, they ran great. So that's, that's ready to go. The details here on this engine are correct you know we have the correct gate acorn nuts and everything it's a couple little things he'll have to deal with he has to get the special small acorn nut that goes there um and a, a couple hose clamps i mean i i we had correct here but you know the big ones are not correct so he'll have to find those um, but a lot of this stuff is great because he'll he'll deal with the detailing we we put together you know these things that we knew how to put together and and um and put it all all so that he could do it but um you know, like I said, it, it's a matter of, uh, you know, him getting it and, and uh, putting it. I'm just going to put this spark plug back on here. This looks like it popped off. But, um, you know, and and um, so it's, it's ready to go. And, and um, I put uh, all the other stuff in, in pipes and bags, like extra pieces and parts, um, old starter, uh, the, uh, you know, some of the, the exhaust pipes we have here. Um, the manifolds I put in another box because I have the, uh, I have the, 
the transmission in this box that I had to build and um, that one's all crated up and ready to go with uh, some of the extra parts. So now I have to basically figure out what I'm going to do as far as shipping. I haven't shipped an engine in, in a while so I have to figure out you know how to do it. If, if anybody out there has, has suggestions as to you know or, or a recommended freight company that, that they would recommend in the New York area uh, feel free to comment or contact and reach out to me. I haven't really started that. I've been kind of spending the last few days building this box and making sure that, that it's secure and, and uh, safe. I lag bolted the uh, the four engine mounts into these and then these are bolted to the frame. So that's that's pretty secure, I think. It's not it's not really gonna go anywhere. And then what I'll do is I'll just put this cap over it. And um, so the owner, all he has to do is just unscrew the bottoms and then that, that cap will lift right off. But this thing is pretty well secured to this pallet. Um, it's not It's not gonna go anywhere. But now it's a matter of, you know, I, trying to get estimates is like, you got to weigh it. Well, I don't know how much this thing weighs, you know, 900 pounds. I've got to do that. I got to figure out how it's got to go. Also, it's got to go to Canada. So um, it's going to the West Coast. So um, that's another little extra. I can't just put it. I don't believe. I think it's relatively easy to get freight to Canada these days. But again, it's, it's one of those, um, you know, th things that I got to figure out. So uh, if anybody out there has, has good suggestions, you know, reach out to me, that would be great. I, I'm always open to comments and, uh, and, and ideas of how to do this. So, uh, you know, this is, this is the next step. But uh, engine's ready to go, transmission's ready to go, and uh, the owner's waiting. Thanks for watching.